Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Master Computer Science Subject. Today in this video we are going to discuss about the properties of CFG. So there are three properties with respect to context free grammar. The grammar may be ambiguous, the grammar can be left recursive, the grammar can be left factored. Out of these three properties, the first two are undesirable properties. If the grammar is ambiguous, we need to eliminate ambiguity. If the grammar is left recursive, we need to eliminate the left recursion. And if the grammar can be left factored, if it is possible to left factor, then we can do it. So the third property is a desirable property for context-free grammar. In fact, it is desirable for parsing. Right. Now, let us consider one uh, example grammar and I am going to explain how to eliminate ambiguity from this given grammar. We know that this is an expression grammar. Let me consider uh, this a string. I am going to draw a parse tree for this. Start symbol of the grammar is E. Now, this E can be replaced by E plus E. Then, this E can be replaced by E star E. At every time, the E can be replaced by ID. So, this is one parse tree which I obtained for the given string. Similarly, I can draw another parse tree. From the start symbol E, it can be replaced by the rule E star E. Now, this E has to be replaced by E plus E. Every E can be replaced by ID. So, there are two parse trees which is deriving the same string id plus id star id. So, which is a valid one? We have the question right. In this parse tree, a star operation appears at the bottom and the plus operation is very close to the start symbol or the root of the parse tree. Here, the plus operation appears at the bottom of the parse tree and one level up in the hierarchy star operation appears. First point what we need to remember is every parse tree is evaluated from bottom to top. So when it's evaluated from bottom to top in this case first star operation is evaluated or done followed by the plus whereas in this case first to plus followed by star. But what has to happen in fact in fact, id star id, the multiplication has to happen and the result must be added with this id. According to this Bodmos rule, this parse tree is a valid one. Right. Now, let me take another example. In this case, I consider the string id plus id plus id. Right. So, let me draw the parse tree. e can be replaced by e plus e. Now, this E can be replaced by another E plus E. Every E is replaced by ID. By the way, I obtained the string ID plus ID plus ID. I can derive the same string using another parse tree. I mean, another derivation exists. That is why we call this grammar is ambiguous. E is replaced by E plus E. Now, this E is replaced by E plus E. Every E is replaced by ID. So, the second parse tree also has obtained the ID plus ID plus ID. Right. Out of these two parse trees, once again the question is which is a valid one. First, look into the expression. How this expression is to be evaluated? Since the operators both are plus, left associative is to be ensured. First, this ID plus ID is to be calculated then the result must be added with id according to this rule which parse tree is a valid one this parse tree is a valid one because this is a parse tree which is ensuring the left associativity see uh, the leftmost plus operation is done first followed by the second plus or addition operation okay so now we need to take care of two things to remove the ambiguity from this uh, context free grammar one is precedence, another one is associativity. To eliminate ambiguity from the grammar, for every grammar, it is a unique method. According to the meaning of the grammar, 
we need to frame the steps carefully to remove the ambiguity. For this expression grammar, these are the factors we have to take care to eliminate the ambiguity. First, we think of associativity. To ensure left associativity, to ensure left associativity, we need to convert the grammar into left recursive. I tell you why. Suppose, let us consider only one rule, E plus E. Okay, left recursive means the head of the production rule and the very first variable on the right hand side must be the same. If I draw the parse tree, only on the left hand side my parse tree has to grow, not on the right hand side. So, obviously I should replace on the right hand side with some other variable. Now, for the sake of simplicity, I will replace it by id. Finally, let me replace this e also by id. Just for the sake of understanding, I am doing this. So, e. Now, I made it left recursive. So, what is the chance I have? I have to replace only by e plus id. Now, again, this e can be replaced by e plus id. Again, this e can be replaced by e plus id or I can simply replace it by id. So, now look into the parse tree from the bottom to the root. id plus id plus id. Left associativity is assured in this parse tree. There are two plus operators in the expression id plus id plus id. Which plus is done first? This plus is, this addition operation is done first followed by this addition operation. So, to ensure left associativity, we need to convert the grammar into left recursive. So, we find a solution how to ensure the associativity. How to ensure the precedence? I will explain with the same parse tree example. Consider this parse tree. We know that this parse tree is a valid parse tree for this expression. Okay, observe the parse tree carefully. When you observe the parse tree from the bottom, the higher precedence operators are appearing towards the bottom of the parse tree compared to the lower precedence. It has to appear in the same way, then only higher precedence operator will be evaluated first followed by the lower precedence operators. So, what is the point we need to ensure while we are rewriting the grammar? When we are rewriting the grammar, we have to make sure that higher precedence operation like star and division symbol are appearing at the bottom of the parse tree. Then when the parse tree is growing towards a root or near to the start symbol, lower precedence operator should appear. In such a way, we have to modify the uh, grammar. Okay, now let me give a solution for this. Let us take the same grammar. So, to ensure the precedence of operation, uh, we, we can rewrite the grammar in such a way. E derives E plus T. I have replaced or given a new variable name here. So, that this variable supports the uh, next higher uh, level precedence operation. At the same time, we have taken care of the left recursive also. Because left recursion assures the associativity, left associativity. So, now just I try to draw the parse tree for the rewritten grammar. E derives E plus T. This is the only option we have. Right? Now, this T can be replaced only by T star F. So, what happens in this case? The lower precedence operator plus appears very close to the start symbol. And star appears, which is a higher uh, in hierarchy or higher in precedence appears one level down in the parse tree. But while evaluation, we are evaluating the parse tree from the bottom towards the start symbol. So, this is how we have to modify the grammar. Now, let me write the final grammar uh, which has no ambiguity. E derives E plus T R T. T derives T star F R F. F derives E. E, the parenthesized expressions are having the highest precedence. F derives E R I D. So, this is the final grammar after removing the ambiguity. 
For this grammar to remove the ambiguity, we have taken care of precedence as well as associativity. Once we have taken care of that, automatically the ambiguity is removed. Now, I just give a rough uh, parse tree picture of this given grammar. So, let us continue drawing here. E derives E plus T. Then, this T alone can be replaced by either T star F or F. Let us go with this option, T star F. Now, this... Uh, F can be replaced by E, which is a parenthesized expression. Okay, now let me take a chance to replace this T by T star F itself. Oh, now this is ensuring the left associativity, isn't it? Uh, now, if you observe the parse tree, you see here the parenthesized expression appears at the bottom of the parse tree. Of course, multiplication operation also, but there are two multiplication operations. The leftmost multiplication operation appears at the bottom. Then the rightmost appears one level up. By the way, we are ensuring the left associativity. And then plus operation, which is having the lowest precedence, is very close to the root of the parse tree. Now, with this grammar, you can try the derivation of the strings id plus id plus id, id plus id star id. You will be getting only one parse tree. Uh, for one string, uh, let me show with this grammar. Right, so this is a grammar we have, isn't it? So I'll try uh, drawing like here. Uh, let me derive the string. Uh, yeah, id plus id star id itself. E, e can be replaced by e plus t. Since plus symbol is there in the expression, I have to use the rule E plus T. I have to use a rule E plus T. Now, this T can be replaced by T star F. Now, this T can be replaced by F. This E can be replaced by T. T can be replaced by F. Every F can be replaced by I T. So, now we obtained the string I D plus id star id this is unambiguous grammar where we have taken care of both the precedence and associativity i hope you have understood this problem uh, if you have any doubt please comment in the comment section thank you